Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this Hurricanes career mode. We are currently flying forward in this competition. We are still 14 points ahead of second place, who we do play in this match. It is the Highlanders, so if we win this, we could really have a huge gap between us and second place. Let's get into it. An important game of the Super Rugby season between these two sides. Highlanders have racked up some good performances recently. Good, entertaining rugby has been a hallmark of this side. Here's hoping that continues. And with me on the... Right, we've got Alex Fidel starting at one this game instead of James Armstrong, who has been playing well, but I thought I'd give Fidel a go. Everyone else for the four-pack is the same. We have got Jamie Booth playing number nine. I'm giving him a chance instead of Perinara. And then number 13, we have got Vince Arso who is coming in instead of Ryan Crotty. I've kind of been saving Ryan a bit there because he is one of the older players and I don't want him getting injured before these important playoff games. And our bench is pretty much the same, although we have got Perinara on the bench, so he'll be a very dangerous player to come off the bench if we do need him. Andre Pollard to kick this one off. There is no wind as we are inside Forsyth Bar Stadium. Now last time we played the Highlanders, we managed to beat them 28-0. But I'm sure that won't be happening again. Although we have got that ball straight away. Which does mean Jamie Booth will get his first touch of this tournament. Same with Vince Arso. Unless he played an early game, I can't really remember. He might have actually played the pre-season games. Savia has tackled well, and it has ripped away. Kurandrani is tackled. Oh, that's a big hit from Vince Arso on Bryn Gatlin. Hammington now gives it out to Dylan Hunt, who is tackled well. Pari Pari Parkinson didn't get the offload away. Good tackle from Jamie Booth. And a good driving tackle from Savia as well. Now, something I learnt from looking at the menus before this recording was that our players who we signed this year don't actually have statistics, which is interesting. Vince Arso now, two Coles, one more out to Laomape. He's a bulldozer, this man, and he shunts one off, but he is still short. Jamie Booth now, round the side, has driven over. Jamie Booth gets a try. But what I was saying is the likes of Chisel and Colby, Andre Pollard, and those type of guys don't actually have statistics, because I was looking to see how close behind Chisel and Colby was to Ben Lamb in terms of try scorer and unfortunately it sent zero so the only way to know would be to go back through all the recordings which I may have to do to see if he is the leading try scorer now Cheson Colby but that was a good leg drive from Jamie Booth Vince Arso out to Coles one more from Lamb to Laomapi who was one meter short the fullback was shunted off and then smart play from Jamie Booth at halfback Manages to drive his way over and score the first try of the match for the Highlanders, I almost said, but I meant the Hurricanes. Andre Pollard. There is no win, so this should be nice and easy for him. And he has done it fine there, Andre Pollard. So after 12 minutes now, we are 7-0 up over the Highlanders. The team in second place. And I believe... We only have about two games left after this one. So there is no way for anyone to catch us. We will be qualifying at the top of the New Zealand Conference. The question is, are we going to be qualifying at the top of the overall table? We did lose our first match. And at this rate, I believe, even with that, we should be top. That's an interception. Well done. Oh, Thompson has had the ball ripped away from him. Alex Fidel, nice backline movement here from the boys. Out to Ben Lamb, who goes out to Andre Pollard. He's got a man outside him. He's got a man next to him on the inside. But he doesn't need them. Andre Pollard scores the second try of the match against the Highlanders. They just don't seem to like us, the Highlanders. They seem to be dominating their other opponents. But as soon as they verse us, we just seem to outplay them. This was just lovely drawing pass. Ben Lamb, perfect wide ball out to Andre Pollard. And the number 15, you feel sorry for him. He's got his work cut out for him every game when we play them. And unfortunately for him, we do score once again. They've got their five, they could get their seven. 
Andre Pollard now with the kick straight out in front. Shouldn't have any issues with this one. Even though the logo is slightly off-putting, but I have managed to kick that one. It is now 14-0 to the Hurricanes. What a start to this match. The Highlanders now 18 minutes gone, 14 points against them. Bring Gatland is kicking off. They've gone short. Well taken from Lau a good leg drive, but it is tackled by Dylan Hunt there. Have we kept that ball? Yes, we have. Matt Todd is playing halfback. I'm going to go to Etzebeth. One more quick hands out to no. That wasn't who I was after. Kurandrani has been forced into touch though. I was actually hoping to do a little quick tap tap with the back line there. But unfortunately, it did do a skip pass, which almost got us into quite a bit of trouble. Not as much trouble as that throw. That is shocking. Pari Pari Parkinson almost struggled to get it on his side. Kurandrani tackled by Colby. Wetton goes to Tom Kinson. But we have stolen that once again. Jamie Booth now. Out to Asso. Lamape with a good pickup. Lamb with the offload. It's risky stuff here from the Hurricanes. They were in extremely early there. Liam Coltman gets it. Kurandrani on the inside to Thompson, who's hit hard by Etzebeth. They've got us. Oh, that's a great hit. They've got us in a little bit of trouble here, the Hurricanes. Oh, we're the Hurricanes. I'm getting my names all mixed up today. Cheslin Colby drives Kurandrani into touch. He's tackled and taken into touch. We've done well to isolate Kurandrani at this stage. Keeps getting forced into touch. Right, this is a line-out that I need to get right, unfortunately. Yeah, that's not too bad. But Pari Pari Parkinson steals it. Ben Lamb with a good tackle on Thompson. We were in very early, but not early enough, sadly. Hamilton tackled well by Jamie Booth. Pari Pari Parkinson is tackled by Matt Todd. Ripped away from him by Princep. Now it's a Beth. We're using our backs. I didn't realise we had someone way up there. But Vince Arso, he's got a bit of pace. In fact, he's got plenty of pace. And because of it, he is going to be able to score. And we've got three in the first half. Against the team in second. You wouldn't have expected it. Yes, we played well against them last time. But this, at this stage, is domination of the Highlanders. Pollard with a lovely wide pass. I didn't actually realise Arsol was on the wing. But he is very quick. And they are unable to catch him. Easy try. And he's he's not looking too bad since coming on the field for this match for Arsol. So maybe he gets the spot on the bench, perhaps, for the playoff games. you got to back Ryan Crotty. He is a man of experience. But then saying that, sometimes you do need the younger, quicker guys to get you those meters. And at the moment, Vince is doing that. Hamilton now kicking off. I said Hamilton. It was Gatlin, though. It's a bit. Shunts off. I believe it was Thompson. I'm still struggling with those two with their names. Big kick from Jamie Booth. He is chasing hard as well. If that ball stays in, this could be dangerous because Jordy Barrett's got it in his sights. It's bouncing all over the place. Inside ball. No, it didn't quite find Pollard the way I wanted it to. And that has been ripped away. Oh, that was almost Jordy Barrett's ball. Now we are under pressure, though. Who has got that ball? It's Chisel and Colby. I'm just going to run away from him because he's scary. Now we're going round. That didn't quite work. I almost got round. Booth, Booth to Barrett. That's a rough pass. Coles, that's a rough pass. Laumape, that was almost forward. Pollard has been tackled well. This is a rough looking move right here. I'm just going to boot this downfield without the wind. Jamie Booth, you'd back him from here, although Kurandrani is going across. Vinsaso also having a crack. No, I don't actually want him to... Uh, I was going to say I don't want him to get forced down or else it will be half time, but he did. Do the full pass anyway, so it is half time and the score is 21 0. We've had more possession. We've had more territory. The tackles are pretty even handling errors. We have had five, which isn't that great. Line breaks are almost even as well. That surprises me. The Highlanders, they have had a couple decent chances, but we have dominated that first half. 
and they will definitely want to get some points on the board for the second half. But we want a bonus point, of course. It's a Beth takes that one. Oh, he's hit very hard by Thompson. I always say Tomkinson and Thompson like I'm asking a question because I genuinely just keep getting them confused. That was a good kick. Who's got it? Lomax does. Oh, and that's a good turnaround from Lomax. It was a very good run, although I believe we're going to lose that ball. No, we somehow kept that. Oh, we got to go to the left, don't we? Fidel. Oh, Fidel, sorry. Tackle well. Oh, that was ripped away very quickly from their number 14. Wet and tackled by Fita, and there is a penalty for not releasing. Jack Wet and unfortunately for him. Held on to that one just a little bit too long. We're going to kick for the corner. Someone should probably be marking it, to be honest. But it is a good kick from Andre Pollard. We want to get this bonus point. We could have taken the three, but I have a feeling they won't be getting three tries in this match, the Highlanders. Oh, Pari Pari Parkinson once again steals the ball. That is unfortunate. Good hit from Princep on Hammington there. They are under all sorts of pressure now, the Highlanders though. Parkinson hit hard by his opposite number, Fafita. Ideal situation here is a turnover very soon. Thank you very much. Oh, and now we are just short, but they are in extremely early, the Highlanders, and they have got that ball back, sadly. Oh, it's at the post, Jamie Booth. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was extremely close to Jamie Booth's ball. I thought he had it. That bounce off the post almost cost them, and we almost had the bonus point. This try here. No, the scrum here, though. Xavier to Jamie Booth, who tries to drive his way over. It hasn't quite worked out for him. And we have lost that ball once again. Tell you what, the Highlanders, they get in their rucks very early. So you feel slightly bad for them with the fact that we're just winning by quite a bit at the moment. Hamilton picks it up. Lynchies lays it back. He's been hit hard. They're offloading a lot here, the Highlanders. Oh, I thought that was Alex Fidel's ball. Good hit there from Savia. We're driving them backwards. The post is now in play once again. Oh, and he does well to clear that one, but he didn't get it very far. But Kurandrani has tackled Chisel and Colby there. Jamie Booth out to Barrett. First time we've seen him today. That was a cheeky offload. Pollard out to Barrett once again. He's tried to offload once again, and Ben Lamb has still got the ball. Look how many Highlanders players are lurking around that ruck. It is impressive. I'm going to try this way again. Fafita out to Lao Mape. Does a step. Oh, it's hit hard by the number 15, though. Jamie Booth out to Lamb, going to Chisel and Colby with the pass to Pollard. He stepped on the inside, Andre Pollard. Has he got there? Yes, he has. And that is the bonus point. Good drive from Andre Pollard. That's not just worth the usual five points for the try. It's given them a bonus point on the table too. This is good, strong work. Dead right, Justin. Now Mape hit very hard by their fullback, but that means, of course, he wasn't in position. Booth out to Lamb. One more Cheslin Colby. Good offload to Pollard. Kurandrani wrong-footed. And Hamilton unable to stop Andre Pollard from driving over. We have got the conversion. Should be easy enough once again. Oh, yeah, that should be fine. And it is. So, with that said, the score is now 28 0. We have secured our bonus point. The question is can we get another? Hey, a sub's being made. We don't normally see it. So, that is interesting. Kane Haynes on for Leonard Brown, and the other one was Coltman was going off the field, but I forgot who was coming on for him. He kicked short. Kick Princep off. takes that well, and he's found a bit of space. Read Princep. It was a good run up the middle. 
but they have ripped it away once again, the Highlanders. You can see how they are second on the table. They are very quick to the rucks, but unfortunately for them at the moment, we are just kind of running around them like that. Andre Pollard once again, and it is going to be another try. And he has got the hat trick now, Andre Pollard. Very well done from him. Unfortunately, like I said earlier, those stats don't actually show up in the top try scorers because I think the game's confused about who they play for. Jamie Booth out to Jeselyn Colby. Lovely pass to Andre Pollard. The South Africans once again linking up. And Andre Pollard too quick. Scores his third of the match. Conversion coming up. And you'd have to say Can he get his fifth kick of the match? Yes, he can. Straight down the middle. That scoreboard's slightly cut off. Someone needs to kind of put 35 to the side a little bit more. So that half of three isn't cut off. But that is all right. The score is 35-0 to the Hurricanes. A very good scoreline for us. Not so good for the Highlanders. Jamie Booth takes that well. Oh, it's hit very hard in the tackle by Bryn Gatland. Fafita's got a boot, doesn't he? That's a good kick. That's a great kick from Fafita. That's right where you want the ball to be. Ben Lamb is right there as well. And a great tackle from Ben Lamb. If he can get to his feet, he's ripped it away. Gone on the inside to Fafita across to Savia, who unfortunately couldn't offload it. Out to Pollard. One more out to Chisel and Colby. And now they've scored again, the Hurricanes. Jezel and Colby, him and Pollard have been linking up perfectly for this match. It just seems so easy. Lamb to Fafita Savia tried to back himself. Unfortunately, was just short. Then it was Lomax to Pollard. What a pass to Jezel and Colby who scores. Because I believe Jezel and Colby would be the top try scorer if he was on the statistics. Andre Pollard though has got the kick. Oh, that might not go over. Oh no. Did it go over? No, it didn't. It was just short. It was almost a perfect performance with the boot, but unfortunately misses that last one. But there is nothing you can complain about for that match. We won it against the Highlanders 40 0. That is an impressive win. Maybe we have found the team that works well together here. And possibly could be the team that win the title. Six tries in this match. Jamie Booth, Andre Pollard with three, Vince Arso and Chisel and Colby. And Pollard kicking five conversions out of the six. The Highlanders just not allowed to play the rugby they wanted to. They had less possession. We had eight handling errors, so you could say we need to work on that. They made more tackles, but they didn't make a single line break in that second half, whereas we made another five. And that was the difference. Hurricanes with the victory. So now we are 19 points ahead of second place. That is incredible. I'm going to quickly check the competition info and have a look at the full table. Where do we sit on it? We are sitting in first, but Sestrugi, New South Wales are only two points behind. Panthers only three. So that is quite impressive that those two other teams have managed to keep up with us. They have each lost one more game than us. But if those two teams, if they won and we lost, they could leapfrog us. Both of them have got more bonus points than us. And both of them are on the streak. 11 wins, 12 wins. We have won the last 13. So it will be interesting to see who qualifies number one at the end of the pool games. But anyway, that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.